So, I was like thinking, what if Frozen was actually burned? So I took out my sketchbook and was just thinking about it. So this was actually suggested by one of my subscribers. Um, wait, I don't know if they subscribed to me or not, but yeah, they suggested it when I asked on my you know, second last video whether they had any ideas for me to make based on like winter or Christmas something. And this person was like, maybe you can draw a famous winter themed animation, um, you know, movie characters like Frozen and hope you like my suggestion and good luck. So thanks for the good luck and I love your suggestions. So I wanted to do something related to Frozen, but not exactly Frozen. So I'm like, what if Frozen was actually burnt and not Frozen? So how would Elsa look like? So I just, you know, was thinking about it, took my mask took out my sketchbook then I took out my phone and was just you know looking for images so that I can like look use it as a reference I went to Google and typed frozen and seeing a bunch of these images I didn't really know which one to choose I was just so confused and then I finally chose this one and I drew it on this drew the sketch on watercolor paper and then I was good to go and yeah I hope you like the sketch and I then added the first layer of watercolor and then waited for it to dry up. So it's like a gradation of red, orange, and um, you know, a bit more orangish red. So I've actually done one of um, our fashion design based on uh, like this combination before, so I kind of took inspiration from it. Um, and I used the reference too. But I didn't depend on the reference completely. I just saw it like was looking at it in the beginning and then totally forgot about it. So this is like the end result that you can see here. I mean, not the end result yet. I mean, it's so close to being finished. There's like at the last, I mean, the second last stage or something. I decided to give the hair a bit of a grandarine kind of color. And I decided to also make her have gloves and her actually making fire through the gloves. You know, the uh, irony something. Um, I know it doesn't make sense, but I wanted to have a bit of that fantasy kind of thing. And that, um, you know, whatever she's wearing does not catch on fire, even though she produces fire like that. So, you know, a bit of um, some crazy thinking like that. And then, this is so, so, like, almost finished. And I don't like the cape that much, because I might be going in and adding some more watercolor to that. But then... Yeah, I love the hair. It just looks so good. I painted the fire too, if you can see it. Um, and then I was just coloring it and then I thought it'd be, you know, it's time to take out my color pencils and use them because I didn't have any those really fine little brushes for the tiny details and I thought I'd spoil it. So I went in with the color pencil. And these are the um, seven colors I'm going to be using. So I basically just took my color pencils for the very finest details um, such as the hair, some parts of the dress to darken some areas which I was like too lazy to go over with color, like you know watercolor and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and, and after you've done that consider subscribing if you're new here and if this video helped you in any way or if you just like my art or anything I really appreciate your subscription to me and yeah. And yeah, this is the end result of how the fairy Elsa looks like. I love the way her face and the hair turned out. I tried to add a little bit of yellow lighting in there. Um, and I love the dress too. And I went in and added some purple just for you know, some interest because those are the kind of like sunset colors. And the fire painting, I mean the way I painted the fire is much more better than I usually do it last time. I think the last time I was did it was like... Uh, I don't know, I guess years, years ago. ago. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys like this video. And don't forget to share this video with your friends. I mean, let's just see how they react to it. Like, who would ever think if Frozen was actually burnt? I mean, even if you ever did. Just let's see how they're gonna react to my painting. And I, I also recommend you trying this out. Just trying to design Elsa in your own way. Like whatever, you know, whatever comes from your imagination. It's really fun. And you can do it in any way you want. Maybe she has some, I don't know, some earth powers or something. Use your imagination and try to recreate her in your own style. 
and yeah and also don't forget to tell me what you think about this in the comments down below and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i've also linked in some extra videos for you to watch and i hope you enjoy them too and until i come up with a new video bye and don't forget to check out those videos there bye